Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how you can play any Xbox One game on an Android device, in this case my uh, Huawei Mate 20 phone. Uh, so what I'm showing you here is uh, the screen of my Xbox console and also the screen of my Android phone. Um, so I've currently got an Xbox One Bluetooth controller uh, connected to my phone. So I'll just show you a quick demonstration and then the next part of the video I'll show you the process to um, to get the games working on your phone. So we'll just restart this. You can Okay, starting on the Xbox One console, uh, hit the guide button and go into settings, then general, and then network settings, and then scroll down to test remote play. Uh, now the console will perform a series of checks just to make sure that um, you can actually do remote play. You may get a few error messages, but uh, a lot of those I found you can just ignore. Um, so we'll let that do its thing. And then, oh, here we go, it's done already. So as you can see, it's a few ticks there. So the NAT's got a, a good NAT type, um, good up, upstream bandwidth, out, outbound ports open. I think those are the main things to worry about. So now you can click on remote play on the left here and it says this console is ready for remote play so you can close that down okay now we'll swap over to the uh, the Android side of things okay so now I'm on my Android phone I'm just doing some screen recording here so you can see what to do so you'll need to go to Google Play Store and if you haven't got it already, download the Xbox Beta app. Just type it in as you see it on the screen here. So obviously I've already downloaded it, so we can open it up. And if it's your first time using the app, you will need to log in with your um, Xbox Live um, sign-in. So I've, I've done that, obviously. Um, so we're basically we're signed into the app on Android. And then what you need to do is, uh, if you look in the top right hand corner, uh, you've got a bell and the icon next to it looks like a console. Just tap that and then you'll get the screen coming up. Now if it's your first time using this app, you'll need to go down and click on set up a console and then go to uh, add an existing console. So do that or set up a new console and that will talk you through how to um, connect to your Xbox One console. So once you've done that, we can go out of there, click on that icon in the top right again, the little Xbox console icon next to the bell. And then so once you're connected, you'll see an option there saying remote play on this device. So we will tap on that. And what it's doing now is it's basically connect, connecting to your Xbox One console and you'll end up seeing a, um, a mirror image of what's on your console. So there we go there. So it's all connected. So I will just pause this and then we'll just go back and just show you that I am connected to both the console through the console and my phone. Now the other thing I haven't mentioned is you will need to pair a Bluetooth controller. So I'm using an Xbox One Bluetooth controller um, or you should be able to use a game compatible gamepad to your Android device. So if you're not sure how to do that I'll put a link to a video on how to connect a Bluetooth controller or gamepad. But basically um, just turn on Bluetooth on your Android device hit the, uh, the search button or scan button, on, hold it down on your controller 
and then your phone will pick up this device and then you can just pair it. So that's done. So yeah, I've got my um, controller paired as you can see. You can see and I'm pressing up and down the D-pad. So if we hit the guide button and then we can actually get, go back down into uh, Wreckfest, which was the game I was showing at the beginning. And there you go. Um, yeah, so I hope you found that, that useful and um, if you've got any questions let me know. Otherwise in, uh, enjoy playing uh, your Xbox games on your, on your Android. Cheers guys.